welcome to the Survive, Scale, Soar podcast. Hear and learn through the success of others how to build the life and business you deserve. Learn to overcome failure, what it means to seek out growth, and how to become the best possible version of yourself. And now, here's your host, coach, entrepreneur, husband and father, and author of the number one best-selling book, Survive, Scale, Soar, Jeremy Williams. And welcome back to the Survive, Scale, Soar podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy. A quick reminder, this show comes in two formats. Real Talk, which is just me and the mic, talking about things that are happening in my business or in the world that could have impact on your business. And then there are success talks. That's where I get to talk with some of the top people in their respected industry, and they share with you what has made them successful. If the show impacts you or you know it can impact someone else, make sure that you share the show. Today is a real talk. And I want to talk to you about when you make that decision to take on something that you know is going to benefit you and your family going to benefit those that are around you. And when you take that step, there's going to be other people out there that don't like you. They may even be a bit contentious. And that's happened recently in my life and in my business. And that's it's not the first time that it's happened. So it doesn't really bother me because it's just sort of expected when you take that step out in faith. And to be honest with you, I think it's just the devil and trying to keep you from doing what you know is right and what you've been called to do. I've had it happen several times in my journey of success. That's why success is not a straight line. A lot of people think that it's just like this. It's just this incremental and it increases and increases and you hit this apex. And it just doesn't happen that way. It really, when you hit that apex, you're really just at the bottom of the first mountain. And if you're really into growth and going to the next level, then you're going to see another mountain in front of you. So if you're working on something today and you're working to be successful at it, know that there's going to be the enemy that's attacking you. It could come in the form of people. It could come in the form of situations. Um, It can come in the form of roadblocks. Whatever it is, just put on the armor and know that if you're doing the right things and you're putting maximum effort into it, the results on the other side are going to show up despite them. And so this week I was called on professional and I did not do anything on professional. Uh, did it hurt for a second? Yes. But did I let it bother me and sink me and, and make me decide that I'm not going to keep moving forward? Absolutely not. Because I truly believe in what I'm working to build, not just for myself, but for those that come into my world. And so you are going to get arrows flung at you. There are going to be people in disagreement with you. And I would challenge you, if you're at a place right now where you're comfortable, you're not seeing the results, and you're not having that happen in your life, then you're probably not pushing hard enough. You're probably not maximizing and living out your potential, whether it be in business or life. Whenever you're on the path to something good, there's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be people that fling arrows at you. They're going to say things. Whether they mean it or not, sometimes it's just out of anger. Whatever the case may be, I want you to think about this. At the end of the day, where do you want to go? We have a short time here on this earth to make an impact. What do you do to maximize that impact while you're here? And when you're doing it, think of it not just for what it does for you, but what it does for everybody else, whether it's a service that impacts somebody or maybe you're bringing people into your world and you're helping them have have success as well. What is that impact that you can have? Are you hitting your potential? If you're not, I'd love to have a conversation with you and share with you just one-on-one what my journey has been. Uh, I can tell you it's it's been not the easiest and that's okay. Like I, I don't think I'd want it any other way. Maybe, maybe when I'm in those times, I might have that small thought that's in the back of my head that's saying, gosh, maybe I shouldn't just, I, I shouldn't go anymore. Maybe I just need to get comfortable with where I'm at. Yet as a person of faith, I realize that once I get to that point where I say, you yeah, know, I'm just going to get comfortable and stay here, then I'm not honoring the opportunities that have been given to me. And so I, I want to encourage you today, if you're stuck, If you're in a rut, 
push yourself. You know you're going to get attacked. That's okay. It's part of it. It's part of the game. It's part of life. Right? It's personally, I believe it's the devil trying to keep you from being great. Push yourself. Go after what you truly want. Don't let others dissuade you. When you truly know in your heart, that's the direction you should go. Go after it. Go get your goals. And until next time, onward and upward. Thank you for listening to the Survive, Scale, Soar podcast. If you heard something that made a difference in your life today, share it with someone that might benefit and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Learn more about the host of this podcast and coaching services offered by Red Hawk Coaching by visiting www.redhawkcoaching.com.